There are three or four ways to articulate on the harmonica, and the bite is one of them. The bite is where your lip comes down on the harmonica on a blow or draw and makes a percussive sound. It uses the force of the diaphragm that's pushing the air with the glottal stop and gives you a definite pickup immediately. I learned the bite from Chamber Huang um, and it has a lot of variations. It can be staccato, it can be legato. And what you're seeing there is the first note staccato, the second note is bitten and slurred without a bite into the third note. So you can define stuff. It can be very smooth. It can be very short. Giving you. It gives you an immediate percussive beginning that you don't get out of a just a plain glottal stop. Or tonguing, which changes the tonal color. Instead, you get a note that's in tune, not pinched. Also, because you need to use your tongue when you're tonguing, that means that you have to be in whistle position. And that takes away switch corner. The ability to bite one note and make it legato into another that's further away. Biting is a necessary technique to play classical music. It is not something that you would do in jazz, because jazz, you can use your tongue, touch plate in, in whistle position, because it's, it's, it helps you bend notes, it gives you a good articulation, tonguing does, in jazz. But in classical music, um, the bite is essential. 